Welcome back, Alexandria here. We are recreating this epic shot here. So she has supplied us with the raw image, teach you guys how to recreate the exact edit. So she has also joined us in the course where she takes you through a few of her edits. So she teaches you guys how she goes about editing and tweaking her photos. If you guys wanna learn more about that, check out the course page and a bunch of other awesome guest editors where you get the raw image. They take you through steps Step by step the exact settings they use to so go away with the exact same results as all these professional photographers just the number one editing course in the world i'm gonna link up her instagram down in the description go give her a follow you guys okay so here we have the raw unedited one and the edited one let's start off by turning on the curves so the curves i will just start off with them edited i'll show you them but they are curves i made a few years ago and when i really wanted those rich red skin tones the real rich orange and red and purplish skin skin tones so i made this a few years ago i think she said she uses chelsea's presets so if you want presets better than this go just go buy those but this is one i made uh, a few years ago it will add those reds into the skin tones by adding those purples but you'll add those reds into the skin tones so i just ran with these curves i'll show you them um but yeah join the course if you want to know what is going on like the why why i would do curves like this to achieve color palettes and stuff like that so we can't cover every aspect of the curves in this video i'll show you them but if you really want to learn how they work how to get the style you want with the curves it's actually pretty easy when you you learn everything to do with the science of how it works first and then how to creatively use them to get the style you want so you can see puts a lot of contrast into the image all right so we need to brighten there's one other thing going on that I haven't showed you that's already done is just greens into the shadows that pulls out a lot of purple into the shadows, okay? So it's just green in the shadows. That's the only other adjustment. We are going to drop the whites. It's like a little, kind of a Mac look. All right. I'm going to bring down the contrast just so we like can see down there a bit better. Maybe brighten the touch. All right. Okay, so I'll just show you something. So turning the curves off, look how flat the image looks without the curves. And then turn the curves on, reset this. Just dark and crunchy. So if we up the exposure, it actually looks semi-okay. Semi-okay like that. But it's always it's always a dance between the sliders and the curves down here. That's why it's so important to understand the difference these do and how they work together all right let's get to where we were shadows so let's go let's just help all those warm tones come out and then we're going for a preset trade look so we'll bring it up here and then we'll just knock them all down i kind of like it doing it doing it that way we'll knock them all down here now we've got all this warmth in the mid-tones and that's going to really let us get those rich rich tones and the yellows and stuff like that all these reddish tones and you drop saturation yeah and we get really close really quick because we've added that that warmth and the richness into the mid-tone so i don't I like using the curves. I don't use split turning as much. Curves have way more control and I find it works better image to image. So I don't really, I when I make my own presets, I don't rely too much on split turning. I love the curves. Yeah, we have a whole section dedicated to the curves inside the course if you really want to learn what is going on in the curves. Profile correction doesn't need to be ticked because I'd say this is taken on a converter that makes your 70 200 longer so i imagine that's what's going on a grain bit of grain not very noticeable okay let's up luminance it's gonna shine to some of that grass i think dropping the blues sort of brings back a bit of that sky detail and stuff like that i think that can work um, we want a bit more of a teal to those blues 
and it's not me aquas okay so saturation we'll do a bit of vibrance and while we're here we'll just drop the clarity i think my curves make that make the uh, image really crunchy so that will just soften up some of that harsh contrast greens we want those greens to basically be gone so we're going to drop them pretty low they can be warmed up not many reds let's go towards orange Hey everyone, my name is Alexandra, but you may know me as Lost in Anand on Instagram. And I recently had the pleasure of being one of the guest editors in the Instagram Pro Editor course. I got very excited when Martin invited me to be part of this, because what makes this course different than the rest is that you can learn directly from your favorite creatives on Instagram. They're going to share their editing techniques, give you access to the raw photos, and you're going to be able to edit those photos exactly as they do. Most importantly, if you have been struggling with establishing your own style and you have only been using different presets in order to achieve the desired look, you're going to be able to learn all the ins and outs of editing and actually come up with an edit that is your own. I definitely do believe this is one of the most complete editing courses out there and it would have been really useful when I started six years ago. You see, editing can be a challenging thing to learn, but with a teacher like Martin, I'm sure you'll be up and running in no time. So good luck with mastering your art. Um, I might actually take these. We just sort of look too red and too harsh. So we're actually gonna go this direction with the oranges. And then we'll go this direction with the uh, yellows to get that really strong orange cool aquas is again not many but we'll go this direction um those blue saturation needs to come down in the background there uh, reeds just go with that uh, as for sharpening we'll keep the sharpening pretty low it's kind of hard to see with a um what she's done with sharpening is hard to pick sometimes but we'll go with a low amount of sharpening because it was taken at 5.6 which is really sharp and yeah we are done so just one weird thing about this edit was i did use this to pull out a lot of purples i had with the curves so it just looks a bit of purple there so bang pulling that out um yeah and then yeah so just looking at the curves again sort of just bringing this up to create a bit of brightness there um, a bit of contrast between here and here that's also what it's doing as it looks quite flat like that bit of punch bit of brightness and then we're lifting this for the fade um, we're dropping those color channels a lot close to the black so it does get quite crunchy they should probably that not the greatest preset in the world because they're so crunchy there but um it does the job uh it got the results i was looking for um and that's why we had to bring the blacks up so much and just remember if you're part of the course you got the access to the raw image to follow along in this if you didn't know and a bunch of other tutorials on youtube but we are done we, we could add a bit of contrast to the subject maybe we could maybe drop the shadows to get a bit more moody and then the sky is a bit dimmed like maybe highlights bring out more in the sky maybe something like that but we'll just leave it how we had it right maybe i should lift that up right here's our before here's our after one more time before after and yeah that's it i'd say the key is the curves here playing around with those yellows and oranges to see which is which in the image that's about it guys um bring out those blacks just because we had really really crunchy blacks always do for this preset and what we can do now is go copy and if we come over we actually have another image of hers so let's go and let's paste the settings from a previous one looks a bit cold it's up the warmth and then we look like we don't have enough 
blue in the highlights, but if, what if we brighten things a bit? Those blues come out a bit more if we brighten. The elephant could do with less purple, more warmth. So maybe we'll just up the warmth again. Brighten again. And now we might need to start adding in some blue into the highlights. Looking a bit too purple in the highlights now. So we'll add some green. Elephant's looking a tad purple. Let's add some green. Um, yeah, I mean, looking pretty good. More highlights. Fiddling around, we can get exact, but I think we are pretty close there. So here's the before. That's what it looked like before to here. Um, possibly drop the contrast. But you can see that brightens our image a lot. Drop the contrast. Yeah, pretty close anyway. So yeah, we'll just leave that one there, guys. All right, guys, so if you want to join the ultimate editing course, link's down in the description. So this is where I teach you everything I know about creating these tutorials, about how I know exactly what color to put and how I put it exactly where I want. So a lot of it is the curves. Like you've got to learn the curves. If you want to create these really unique styles, you need to know how the tools interact with each other. So how would I work in split toning compared to curves and how should I think about each tool Tool if I'm using them together because editing it's this intertwined really complicated thing of hundreds of adjustments so you need to understand how it's working as a science and its base that's the first set, few sections of the course and then I teach you quite advanced concepts how I think when I am trying to recreate these edits um, what I look for and then once you get a really solid understanding on how the tools work and you you understand everything I understand you can then really cement what you're learning by following these guest editors we're covering pretty much every single style out there guys so there'll be no style unturned and we have 500 students so far there is a bunch of you so I've been super happy with the amount of people joining so far but we're going to be taking it to a whole new level shortly i know all of you guys really want presets and this course is the ultimate preset collection countless what i call dng so you get the raw image and you get the perfectly edited settings on top of that that's how you learn that's how you get really good presets because you can use these as your really good presets you don't have to apply a preset and start over you just have all the finished settings on these really awesome raw images images that's how i learned really well that's why i'm doing it this way in the course so you can learn exactly how i learned so you can get the exact same results as these professional editors and know why they're doing what they're doing short track your editing presets are kind of dead i mean they're helpful dngs are way better so don't skip this uh course because you're after presets right this is technically the biggest preset collection because we're going over so many styles and people sort of think to tutorials aren't as valuable as but we are creating presets there's so my preset pack that i sold for a few years is currently a bonus inside the course for free we are already in the guest section getting more presets than that preset pack that i spent tons of time on and over 200 lightroom tutorials creating those presets this course is the ultimate preset pack as well and it's for beginners and advanced people i get a few messages saying it's too advanced for a beginner is it advanced enough and it's totally the most beginner friendly and the most advanced friendly complete course there is so hope to see you guys in there there's a free training down below where i teach you the fundamentals of color and the curves so definitely watch that you'll learn a lot let me know who you want to see in these tutorials because i find it hard to find people sometimes and we will catch you in the next one